the word to Ole Drostov, who is uh, uh, president of the Sharkiv School of Architecture. And uh, you will participate online. Uh, and please, I give the word to you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, nice to see so many uh, friends and colleagues in in online, and I know many many friends also in the room. Um, yeah, and my name Alex Drozdov, and I'm uh, I'm start from my slides, and it will be easy. Okay, uh, is it picture moving? Yeah, good, could you see? Uh, we see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and this is moving, yeah? Uh, yes. Like uh, shift, shift, oh, perfect. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I, I represent uh, three institution in, <laughs> uh, uh, partly involved in, in the processes uh, and uh, today I'm always simultaneously in three position and three different institution and three different roles. This gives me opportunity to look at circumstances and challenges in Ukraine uh, from a slightly different uh, angles. Uh, beginning my practices um, started with the proclamation of independence of Ukraine. And I um, went through all stages of formation, um, society, new society, and, and development of the states. And um, founding of uh, Kharkiv School of Architecture and Urban Coalition Roskwit uh, was a logical reaction uh, to the major political events uh, taking place in the country. Uh, 100 years ago, uh, uh, my home city, Kharkiv, uh, as a new capital of Ukrainian Soviet Republic, became um, important uh, a center and, and site of modern architectural work. It was like a birthplace of many technological and social experiments but uh, um, a lot of them was realized um, uh, have, have been implemented. But despite the Bolshevik radicalism, uh, this was uh, architectural development of international level and international involvement. Oh, sorry. Okay. But a uh, um, spirit of innovation was uh, gradually um, uh, 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 gone from uh, from our professional uh, environment, and uh, and uh, but uh, and and few utopias which. Uh, uh, or uh, has been realized in a Kharkiv more focus on a, on a quantity and new scale uh, um, of, of micro district. And uh, uh, it, it's, it's very interesting that a, a huge number of, of population around 700 of uh, a thousand uh, a population of Kharkiv have had the experience of living in identical fly, flats made of exactly the same elements. And of course, a profession could be not uh, stagnate in such kind of condition. And we, as slightly during the uh, time of in independence, uh, jump is uh, quite a low capacity to the uh, liberal economy. And uh, the architecture of stage capitalism has, has been uh, 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 dominated uh, under uh, public interest. 
and 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 a lot of uh, destruction of 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 common uh, spaces and uh, and context happened during uh, time of um, um, during the thirty years. And you, uh, uh, there's an anarchic way of of um, um, of, 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 of building environment. There, are like a, just a one a one reason uh, 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 to to get a profit, and this is, was like a quite a big degradation of of, of public uh, spaces and understanding city as a whole. And if we look at a uh, terrazzo, which we are. Uh, 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 described and found during the time when we uh, work on uh, um, started uh, project of Kharkiv School of Architecture. It was like a, quite a, a dramatic relation between a number of population and uh, and architects with a license. I could say uh, um, during the last. Uh, Seven years, this number are quite increased, but war, I could say, uh, um, take uh, take back this number to quite a small uh, proportion between a professional architects and and um, population. It means that it's not enough uh, professional care for a built environment in Ukraine. Uh, to me, uh, a new uh, agenda for for Ukrainian architecture was uh, uh, created by a revolution two thousand fourteen, and it was a very promising uh, time that we start to rethink all our way of living, communication, policies, and we also decide that in time then a uh, country becoming a new sta startup, we also have to think towards uh, um, a new academical, uh, new educational startup, which could be responsible for changing our city and for uh, um, understanding uh, um, the built environment as an important part of social quality of the wife. And we um, uh, we shape our um, Kharkiv School of Architecture uh, 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 as a new, uh, around the new role of architects and we describe as like a social moderator in integrative of knowledges, practice, practices, and opinions. And um, yeah, a lot of um, a lot of quite a simple uh, uh, um, matters we uh, we put to the development of the school. We become uh, to. Uh, to build a school as a um, new uh, public place, which are, are continuously uh, um, provide a different kind of activities. But uh, I could say um, a lot of things was done and, and all focuses which we are, uh, um, established before war, it, it was like a relevant and after, but for sure, uh, war becoming like a new Rubicon and, and time of rethinking all our uh, curriculum of our agenda and, and new goals and challenges. And main things that happen it with, with us during one night, it's uh, to me, it's uh, enormously uh, increasing capacity of civic society. It's happened in enormous um, uh, an enormous change. 
and 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 after that, we understood that a lot a lot of realities uh, 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 which we have had before war and after that it completely changes. We lost a lot of expert inside of community because a huge replacement, including uh, uh, nine millions of Ukrainians which went uh, abroad. It's enormous a capacity of civic society which uh, um, already transformed to the enormous social grid which could be defense with arms and, and, and without arms but also uh, create a new new agenda for, uh, for, for inclusivity, for um, um, helping to each other and, and, and for um, um, related to each other and an and, and, and enormous capacity, uh, capacity to, to to be uh, together, to have a, a, a quite a huge uh, a common uh, goals and, and strategy. And I also understood that uh, all our policy not relevant anymore, but as well, we have a, a, a quite a serious uh, energy crisis we understood in, in terms of a post-war reconstruction, we have to rethink a lot of uh, a lot of things responsible for our environment. But if we look at, at what have, what is a kind of approaches of helping to uh, rebuilding uh, for Ukraine the recovery and, and you to, quite a common to tendencies. It's, uh, it's a ready-made solution and some kind of gifts, but we strongly believe that only only cooperation and learning by doing together with the international uh, community of experts. This is uh, one of the relevant approach for the future. That's why uh, we created a Rosquit, a urban international urban coalition for Ukraine. And this is was logical reaction after uh, several meetings with authorities and we understand uh, understood uh, main challenges what we're facing on. And uh, now uh, coalition Rosquit includes around 80 members, it's uh, 50 to 50 Ukrainian and foreign experts. Um, and uh, it's, it's quite a wide um, expertise in, 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 in very multidisciplinary field, which, which related to the urban recovery. And um, I also could say that a lot of uh, our Warren uh, colleagues have a previous experience with uh, post-war uh, uh, studies, but as well uh, as a different uh, uh, experience that they uh, already have uh, uh, with um, uh, working in, in Ukrainian uh, uh, context. And for us, it's uh, we focus on it uh, uh, and and work with around the uh, five main values: it's durability, uh, education, um, social, and networking and ethics. And around uh, around that, we. Um, issues uh, we have like a main principle of work uh, with Ukrainian municipalities and um, Ukrainian uh, organization and Ukrainian project we always uh, uh, defined uh, representatives of civic society government and and local um, experts and we form um, different kind of uh, combination of, of, uh, of teams, but we are, uh, uh, as a knowledge platform, uh, we're keeping this a central part, uh, which uh, 
uh, responsible for um, a methodology of, of the process and we try to be in, in, in the center of uh, different uh, actions, uh, research and also educational pro program, which related to academical um, uh, education, but also uh, to capacity building of civic servants and uh, other different things. And I would like uh, also back to the school uh, as a place there uh, we train a new generation of Ukrainian architects. And we understood that uh, this is a war uh, uh, to bring more sharp focus to the human uh, issues. And we uh, have like a quite a important models of understanding of relation human body and the space. But also with strong belief only from a dirty hand, from a hand on approach, we could rethink our relation with the nature, society, and geology, industries, and, and culture. And what's why uh, it's continuously uh, a way of experimentation, just the one way to uh, to educate architects during the uh, our uh, uh, field practices. First of all, we started from uh, uh, building creation with the local communities to uh, realize. Um, uh, real, real needs of community and act together. And also we see that uh, um, architecture could be a back uh, from um, consuming uh, a, a big, uh, big uh, producer's brands uh, back to understanding uh, um, context uh, as, a, uh, as a relation between a, a people and a geology we could bring a, a, a new new ideas for um, uh, for new materials industries elements and maybe our also uh, become a process then we could um, uh, bring uh, bring back uh, um, 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 relation around uh, around the place where we're acting and and uh, and build a, a new new identity or new vernacular uh, of architecture. Uh, uh, during this war, everyone from us, um, I mean, Kharkiv people, a, a lot got a lot of experience with replacement. And also, it's, uh, it's bringing new knowledges for us for cooperation, uh, for um, uh, having something common with the people to share things. And we also, a look at at the future as a new um, process of rethinking house, including a new form of housing uh, as a social house or cooperative house and co-housing. And uh, we have to look to the to the housing as a phenomena which uh, could be shape out cities uh, and also. Uh, together with uh, matters of urbanism as well. Uh, what uh, we already uh, uh, provide in a school and, and we will see that it will be a quite an important issue of, of post-war recovery is rebuilding our institution in a way of hybridization and uh, combining a lot of function and, and one place because it's all, always uh, a lack of resources and we uh, could uh, think about more resilient, more 
inclusive type of uh, of institutions which could be open for different ages uh, different social groups and will be place of of uh, interaction and also we have like a no choice in in in, in, in future context, we look at uh, have to look at the city as a homocentrical formation, and maybe instead of shrinking, uh, we have to think how we could find ways to um, uh, give back our, 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 a lot of. Uh, body of the city to the nature and in the same time uh, improve level of our um, lives and level of ecology. Also critical rethinking our uh, modernistic Soviet uh, um, legacy. It's also important part in terms of critical reconstruction, but also uh, to um, keeping uh, um upgrading uh, is a quite important part of heritage we also uh, feel that we will face in in enormous um enormous deficit of human resources for a building that's why um, a new technology precast and prefabrication becoming like uh, quite important to focus on and uh, um, also it's, it's a fantastic way how we could uh, um, to utilize uh, uh, um, waste uh, which which brought uh, this war but also to think about a circular uh, uh, circularity of and a new building technology and uh, in these terms it's it's very important already start from a uh, pilots and it's it's project which i'm i'm showing it's uh, a quite a fresh uh, winning project competition for new uh, rehabilitation center uh, in, in Lviv, uh, or it will be part of the complex a medical uh, facilities called uh, unbroken and uh, importance of already during the war to start to formate, uh, form new methodology policies, but as well uh, as a real uh, example of, of new redevelopment with a uh, high new new levels of um, social um, qualities but as well as architectural and uh, and uh, energy efficiency um, as well thank you so much it's exactly all what i want to share with you uh, today morning thank you thank you so much for your brilliant uh, speak and your very uh, uh, interesting ideas of uh, innovation and strong thoughts on uh, uh, architecture as uh, uh, a measure of rethinking and uh, reinterpretate, reinterpreting uh, our common grounds.